Today's day 30 on my automated faceless video channel adventure. I wanted to share how my channels are doing, what my pain points are and what I've learned along the way. Let's pop on over to YouTube and take a peek. As you can see, I've got 41 subscribers. And if we switch over to my TikTok channel, I've got 69 followers. TikTok seems to be doing slightly better than my YouTube channel, but not a whole heck of a lot much. Going back to YouTube, let me scroll down real quick. And you'll see some of my original videos came out to a little bit of, I don't know if I'd call it a strong start, but they were getting 500, 600 views. And then something happened and everything plummeted. And if you look right here, now I'm getting barely any views on most of my videos. And the main thing that I did differently is I started posting twice a day. I started posting at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. Then when I noticed that I was having issues there, I squeezed the time window a little bit thinking, well, maybe that's too early and too late, but that didn't turn out to be the case. Squeezing it to around 8 a.m. and 4 p.m., not any different result really. And if we go over to my TikTok, I faced a very similar result. So you can see TikTok is doing right about the same. It's actually doing stronger. I get about 600, 700 views per video. When I scroll down, I have some videos right here that have far fewer views. What was the story there? The same thing. I had posted twice per day and then I backed off to going once per day again. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing to YouTube. I'm now going to be only posting once per day. I have a feeling something is going on that is kind of like your second video. When it gets posted, if your first video didn't get any views, it kind of just shoves it aside. That's what it seems like to me. I'm not you know, totally certain on that. Some of these videos will start to trickle in and get viewers a little bit later. So I'm not exactly sure how the algorithm is working. But I do know one thing, let's, take a look at what it takes to actually be monetized by YouTube and TikTok and how realistic it is based on what I'm seeing right now for me to actually expect that to happen. Now with YouTube, I'm going to go over here. Let's go over to YouTube studio and look at the earn tab. Click on earn and you can see meeting the video uploads. Anyone can do that, but 41 subscribers. Will I get to 500? That is realistic. I could see that happening within a 90 day period, but at the current speed, no, that would not happen. I have only gained 41 subscribers in a month, so I am not on target at the moment. Scroll down, 3 million views. 3 million views is just not going to happen in this 90 day period unless my videos take off and start getting at least 2,500 to 5,000 views each. Then one video per day still wouldn't make it. Two videos per day still would just be almost like right at the line. I don't think I could even start posting two videos per day until I have enough subscribers that I'm getting views on all my videos. I think that's kind of the way it plays out, though I'm not certain. And let's go over to TikTok. And I've also followed a few channels that are very similar to the one that I tried to create. Let me see if I can find, yeah, here we go. King of Storytelling. Here's another guy that has an automated channel. He's got 854 followers, 3,010 likes. And his videos are pretty good, man. They compel me to watch all the way to the end. I've viewed a few of them. However, when, when I look at this, those are the pinned posts that are getting the most views. I'm going to take a lesson from King of Storytelling and I am going to pin a few of my posts. You have to do that in the app, I think. I don't see a way to do that here. So I'm gonna do that today. I am not sure whether I need to put my most popular videos as pin posts in order to attract more views and then overall more subscribers, or if I need to put my least popular videos as pins to increase the amount of views they're receiving. I'm going to test both and find out. What is required for TikTok monetization? I actually couldn't find that anywhere in TikTok and I had to do an online search According to the AI in Brave browser, you have to have at least 10,000 followers and have at least 100,000 views on videos in the last 30 days. Looking over at King of Storytelling and some of the others that I followed, followers is reasonable. Uh, there is no time limit on it. I do think eventually you would get there. The question is how long would it actually take to arrive? 100,000 views seems like a lot because it's a 30 day period. I still think it's something that is doable depending on how many views you're getting per video. And I think you'd need to be getting 5,000 to 10,000 per video and be able to post multiple times a day. It seems like TikTok monetization is an island I can see. 
off in the distance. I know I can't swim there. I know I'm going to have to come up with a better boat to get there, but I can see it in the distance. YouTube's 3 million views. Honestly, that is like a mirage in the distance. There is no island. I can't see land. And at this point, at the speed that it's going, I have to do something completely different. Maybe even pivot to a completely new style of video with animated you know, actual video content instead of what amounts to pretty slideshows to, to take advantage of YouTube. So I'm on the hunt for a few new tools to see what I can pull off to see if it will be possible maybe to a pivot to another style of channel. I don't have too much faith that Fright Club will be an easy monetization for YouTube, but it might be monetized for TikTok. I've also tried another channel and this channel has completely flopped. This one I thought would do a little bit better. I called it Uncle Vlad's Motivational Yard Decor. And it was a motivational channel with a really dark twist. So don't shoot. If you want to leave hate comments, go ahead. What I did, I prompted the AI, and I was trying to be original here to come up with something that I hadn't seen before. I told it to use serial killers, famous ones from history, and give motivational statements through a filter in the context of the things that they did. So it came up with things like how to make a good first impression by Ted Bundy, or the culinary art of Al Capone. <laughs> you know, I thought they were funny, but the verdict online, they're just not getting any exposure. Nobody is liking them. Nobody's playing them. I've got four subscribers here on YouTube. And then over on TikTok, I've got two. TikTok really just doesn't seem to like it at all. This is going to be a quick pivot. If I don't get any more traction on Uncle Vlad's dark humor by the end of this month, it's going to be scrapped and I'm going to attempt something else. The AI video creation tool that I've been using, and I mentioned this in my last video, is VidWiz. VidWiz allows you to create up to five series for the cost that most people are charging for one series. And the best part, you can even post up to five times daily. Probably not a good idea to do that, I've learned, until you grow into being able to get your views, but it's still there. With this system, I've been able to create more content than with any other system for less money. Each one of these channels, I can test up to five at a time, and if one doesn't work, I just drop it and I start generating different videos. Simple as that. Another thing I like about VidWiz a lot is that, click on the little chat pod right here, Harold Bracey, the founder, you're communicating with him directly, and it's been a really cool experience because he pretty much responds to everything that I've sent him. He has implemented different requests that I've made, almost like Johnny on the spot. When I first started using this, it had an annoying transition sound effect. Every time the slide would change, you would hear swoosh, swoosh. And it was really, you know, taking away from the dark mood I was trying to set. I messaged him about it. That was changed within 48 hours. I got a little toggle switch. So the support on this product has been phenomenal. They eventually do plan to integrate video, like actually AI generated video, but I don't know when that's going to happen. So I look forward to that in the future. Another thing that I've really liked about this system, he's made good on what he said he is going to do. He, he told me when I first messaged him before I bought on, I was like, I really need this for YouTube and I need to publish to YouTube and it wasn't yet possible. Well, today when I log in and I go to create a new video and post it, guess what I see? We now have the option to post to YouTube. So this guy is developing what he says he's going to develop and Honestly, I feel much better about this particular video generator product than I do any of the others that I have tested because of the communication I've had between me and the founder, as well as just having the ability to create so much more content than the rest of them. Before I give up on Fried Club, though, I've got a few more ideas. I have been just letting them rip. The stories generate, and then they post, and I don't touch them. Sometimes I'm finding, though, that I'm having to come in here and regenerate a video because it'll have, like, a really dark caption, then it'll have this bright shiny successful modern person and it just really out of place and so I want to keep all of the images fitting in with the theme of this kind of haunted channel. That's something that you might catch in these video generators. Uh, you might need to do just a little bit of image replacement. Otherwise, what'll probably happen when people get to that part that's out of place, that's the point when they stop viewing. Which brings me to, so when I go into my shorts and I go to analytics, this is where we get the important data that tells us how people are interacting with our videos. And what I can clearly see is that most of my videos are only being viewed up until about 20, 
to 30 seconds, which tells me the video is not good enough for them to keep their attention going the whole time. I have a handful of videos where people are actually watching to the end, and I'm trying to figure out what separates those videos. Like, why are these working and the others aren't? And it looks like it might be some of the content, too. We have the Jersey Devil. That is a, a term that I imagine is a keyword that really does drive a lot of people to watch it. And as you can see, we've got 31 seconds there. And then we have Chicago's Vanishing Hitchhiker. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach it right now because... Let's say I do only choose stories that have keywords that are trending. That kind of puts me in a box. How do I prevent repetitive stories from happening? Is the algorithm going to care if I post about Jersey Devil once a month and choose only the cryptids or monsters that are getting hits? I don't really think that that's the way I'd want to handle it. But if that's the only way to get viral and actually get the amount of views I want, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's on the table for me to do that. Somehow I need to do something to increase the average view duration because the view duration as a percentage makes a difference. I am going to test shortening my videos. What if I only give my users 30 seconds of content? What if they watch till the end? Is that going to increase my views because they are now viewing 100% of the video? It's time to find out. So I've modified my prompt. Basically every video is set up with a prompt where I tell it to generate a hook and a twist. It has to open with a hook to get people watching and it needs to include a twist somewhere to keep people engaged. And maybe shortening it to 30 seconds is going to be the happy medium where I get 100% views and then all of a sudden I skyrocket into getting thousands of views. I'm about to find out. I'm pretty sure that what it's going to boil down to is the right gimmick, the right prompt, the right way of structuring the video and holding attention, and the right delivery pill in the form of do I need AI generated video or will these slideshows ultimately work with the right stories? That is my mission for 2025. Come hell or high water, I am going to monetize a faceless YouTube channel that requires no work on my part once it's fine-tuned and done, and I am obsessively focused on making that happen this year. And thank you very much, Harold at VidWiz, for providing a product that allows me to create up to five series at a time so that I have a better chance of landing on the right channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and join me for the rest of this next coming year where I eventually flesh out the channel that is going to earn passive income.